Hello and welcome to the update. I'm Chase Salisbury. And I'm Jared Oates. And these are the latest stories. Bill O'Reilly was in some trouble when last Tuesday, in response to Democratic Representative Maxine Waters' comments condemning Trump, he mentioned that he wasn't able to hear a word she said because he was too enthralled with her James Brown wig. Well, that is fair, because I usually don't hear a word Bill O'Reilly says because I'm too enthralled by his James Brown sexual assault allegations. The New York Times has come forward with reports that five women have accused Bill O'Reilly of Fox News of sexual assault allegations. This comes after the company had paid nearly $13 million in settlements trying to stop these allegations before they could go to court or become publicly embarrassing for the company. Yeah, $13 million really well spent? A White House official on Tuesday said that all options are on the table when it comes to North Korea, not ruling out economic sanctions or even military action. I mean, the situation between Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is pretty intense because, I mean, one of them is a short-tempered dictator who has tantrums when he doesn't get what he wants, and the other is uh, Kim Jong-un. Conservative voices have made themselves clear that they feel that the liberal media has been too hard on President Trump in his first few months in office. While there's certainly some truth to that statement, we still can't help but giggle when we hear the words hard on and Trump in the same sentence. Major advertisers such as Walmart, Pepsi, and Starbucks have started pulling their ads from YouTube as part of a large advertiser boycott after concerns arose when people's ads were displayed next to racist and anti-Semitic videos. Although I kind of saw this coming, seeing as viral sensation Keyboard Cat is an outspoken Holocaust denier. Speaking of Pepsi, the company has made news by pulling their global ad campaign featuring Kendall Jenner, an ad campaign in which she joins a protest and makes peace with police officers by handing them a soda. What's more unbelievable to you, a white girl solving the issue of police brutality by handing an officer a soda, or a member of the Kardashian-Jenner clan doing something selfless like joining a protest? Shia LaBeouf's new film, Man Down, opened in theaters in the UK last weekend and only earned seven pounds, meaning only one ticket was sold. Fortunately, theatergoers didn't listen to Shia's passionate pleas outside the theater. Do it! Just do it! Politico followed up with some of the 2016 presidential nominees this week, checking in on where America's unchosen leaders are now. To the surprise of many liberals, it turns out that Bernie Sanders is not still running for president, a fact that's confusing considering how many of his stickers are still stuck to the back of Toyota Priuses. That's all we've got for you this week. This has been The Update. Take it easy. I'm just going to burp before I start doing this. Yep. <laughs>